All right, guys, I'm about to head in and make soap number three, cold process soap number three. Uh, I, I've been enjoying this process so far. This time I am going to try using two different colors in a soap. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Check back in and I don't know. Is it going to be muddy, muddy? Is it going to be pretty? Let's find out. Let's Let's figure this out together because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do what I can to try. All right. I am excited to try something new in terms of cold process soap making. Today, I'm going to use two colors and I'm going to do what soap makers apparently refer to as an in the pot swirl. I am going to be using a uh, yellow and a rose gold. So I've got a buttercup and a rose gold mica that I have already pre-mixed into a couple of cups here. Uh, I used just a little, I pulled a tablespoon of oil out of my batch, which is a Brambleberry quick mix kit. So I, again, I'm, I'm just sticking with easy stuff right now as I learn some of these techniques. Eventually I wanna start playing with the oil recipes and going in and out there. And I'm going to be using grapefruit lily as a scent. It smells really nice, citrusy floral, more of a citrus note. It does say that it, it accelerates a little bit in cold process, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna be using these two colors and that's not too much of a big deal. Um, I pre-mix my lye water and temperature wise, I'm pretty good. I'm in the 120-ish uh, for my lye water and about 115, so within five degrees of each other. That's good. When I did my last batch, it was a little bit cooler and wasn't crazy about the results, so we'll see if this makes a difference. I got my stick blender in and I'm going to burp it. Oh yeah, there's the bubbles. And I'm going to pour my lye water in. I want it at a thin trace because I need to combine the colors and the fragrance. Um, what I'll probably do is combine the colors first and then hand mix in the oils to prevent it from accelerating too much. So let's pour this in and blend. Pour it down the shaft to try and avoid some bubbles, although I definitely see some bubbles there. All right, got that in. I made my lye water about an hour ago, had lunch and now it's cooled down enough. So let's blend this on low. Just a little bit more. Okay, I think that is pretty good. All right, let me put this down and I'm gonna pour some of this off into another container so I can separate the colors and mix them up separately. Let's do that. Oh yeah, I'm not being precise here. That's probably good. Um, which one do I wanna do is dark? Let's do the yellow in here. Let's really try and get that out as much as I can. Yeah, there we go. And then we will add the rose gold into this container. And I think I'm gonna start, I did um, mix them already with oil. I'm gonna start by mixing with a little bit of a plastic whisk here. Oh, that's such a pretty color. I'm liking that. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, yes, that's good. And now I'm gonna hand whisk in the yellow here. Let's see how, this almost reminds me of like a strawberry lemonade or something like that. And I kind of like how this is kind of orange, like a, yeah, it is a buttercup actually. It's kind of an orangey 
This is actually a perfect color. I wonder if it's gonna change at all. Okay. I'm okay with, I think because this accelerates so much, I think I am going to um, really limit how much I whisk this up. Okay. Oh, this smells amazing. I'm, oh yeah, I can definitely see the acceleration in there. I'm glad I'm keeping this pretty thin. Whiskey, whisk, 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 whisk. Wow, this color is amazing. It is not what I expected, so I'm gonna be really curious to see how it dries, how it solidifies, because if you look, Here's the buttercup and here's what it looks like in the soap. Um, and I'm wondering if that's the fragrance oil that changed it a little bit. And I definitely feel it accelerating. Because if I look at the other color, you can see they're pretty similar and there is a little bit more in there, but honestly, I'm not worried too much about it. I'm liking the colors, I am. Okay, this is definitely accelerating on me, so I don't want it to take too long. Okay. And for an in-the-pot swirl, let's give this one more stir. I'm gonna, let's see, pour some of this over here, some of this over here. Kind of doing Six, three, nine, twelve, kind of doing that. Let's, that's good. This is, uh, let's see, I'll use a scraper. This container, actually pretty much everything here is from Brambleberry just because they're the, the first supplier I purchased from. I do have a couple other order, orders from some different companies coming just to try some new stuff. Um, diversify a little bit. So let's get a bunch of this stuff out. And I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of do a figure eight here and swirl that just enough. Can you guys see how that's accelerating so much? It's getting thicker pretty quickly. So I need to move Whoop. and I'm just gonna pour. Chunkity chunk chunk. Yep, there is the acceleration. This is a 10 inch mold that I got off of Amazon. Um, I could only get a 12 inch when I made an order off of Brambleberry. So I thought I would try something that was a little bit shorter but wider and create a different style bar. Again, see what I like. What What is it that is kind of appealing to me? What's different? What do I like? Okay, let's get that off. All right, that's pretty good. I did a decent job of getting it all in there. Let's see if I can spread this out a little bit. Okay. I am gonna try, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm throwing things. Use my whisk to get this off. And then I'm gonna grab a paper towel, clean this up. How do I want to texture this? I haven't thought that far in advance. What do I want to do? How do I want to texture it? Get a few little... Hmm. Maybe I'll just use a spoon? Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll try a spoon and do a little different design. Oh, 
Okay, so you guys can see that. Why don't I see... Pushing it into the middle. I don't think this is quite ready for that kind of texture. Did I get some ricing in here? I don't know. I don't know enough about this to know what I did and didn't get. It's got a little grainy. You know, should I have used my blender to, to mix it all together? But I think you saw how chunky that got. This accelerated quickly. see. Yeah, this works. I like this. That's holding up. I'm going to go back and do it on the other side. Hmm, I want some texture on the top there. Maybe, you know what I might do? I might get something to sprinkle on in the center. What could I sprinkle in the middle? Hmm, let me think about this for a second. Let me see what I can sprinkle in the top. Okay, I found something. Valencia orange peel. I'm gonna put this down the center here. I'm gonna shake some on. I think that's gonna add a little bit of texture and, and kind of fit in with the theme of this soap, with the citrusy kind of vibe to it. I like that. Okay, well, I am gonna let this harden for at least 18 to 24 hours, probably, you know, around then. I'm just thinking it's, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon right now. So let's see how this hardens because it's accelerated so much. I may not have to worry about it, but we'll see. I'll let you know. I gotta say, I am pretty impressed with this. This is about a week later, and this looks pretty good. There's a little bit of ricing that happened. You know, it's not perfect, but this is one that if I tried it again and did a few things different, I could sell a bar like this. Like, this looks really nice. This looks professional, this looks awesome. Smells amazing. I'm really happy with this. I, I think the two swirl, two colors turned out really nice. Um, and I'm excited to see what I try next. So if you want to see more of my adventures here as I learn how to make cold process soap, subscribe, click the bell, join me along in this journey because I don't know what's ahead. So you might be in for some surprises, just like I'm in for some surprises. So Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting. I'll see you real soon.